What's the hardest thing about being unattractive? Whenever someone teases you with a boy-girl saying you guys would look good together as a couple, that boy-girl will deny it so much or he, she would be disgusted, and you will just have an awkward smile and just feel like shit. Depending on how unattractive you are, accepting that you will never have a life like most other people have, even other unattractive people don't want you. Creating a girl-free zone that is 5 meters wide in radius front you. Not trying to be funny but literally being unattractive. I considered myself unattractive until I got to 35. I'm now 39. The hardest thing for me was to be overlooked by man at all times. I used to think that guys flirting with me either were only there for the booty or that they were insane. Thinking that you were worthless. All the time. People instinctively judge you unfairly, not just in relationships even at work you're judged you're less likely to be forgiven for doing mistakes you're expected to be better at everything because if you don't look good you'd better work good. Every time I speak to someone I just know they won't catch feelings for me, which is not necessarily a bad thing, but sometimes I crave for knowing what it's like knowing some people out there want something more than just being friends. People are more likely to find unattractive people creepy or dangerous, if they try to approach them, even when they have good intentions or only trying to ask a question. You are gonna be the best friend of many many girls. Being stared at on public transportation, hearing friends describe me as a really nice person with a good personality, never being asked out, can't even get anyone to get a coffee together. I think they fear the ugly one will want more. Most people are repulsed by unattractiveness. I see it in their eyes and in the looks of pity or repulsion on their faces. I'm at middle age and although I put on a happy face when I'm out, it still stings. Watching teen romance movies and realizing that you'll never experience anything even remotely similar to it. Coming from a previous teen, I'm unfortunately an adult. No one ever experiences anything remotely similar to teen romance movies. They are about as realistic as Star Wars. This is my perspective as a guy who went from 280 pounds of pure blob to a visibly fit and strong 180 at 12 percentish body fat. It's night and day. As a fatty, I was the butt of the joke. Anything I did was weird and silly. Here's a perfect example. My interest in anime and gaming hasn't changed since I got into martial arts and powerlifting. Instead of being a creepy weeb neck beard, I'm an interesting guy with a wide variety of interests and skills. Getting told it's the reason you get left out of everything kind of stings. Just be happy that you're not the asshole person who says things like that to others. People in the street look at me so often, and I'm f***ing sure it's not because I'm handsome, you know. Nobody really asks you if you're okay. Are you okay? Not hardest but the best thing being unattractive is you don't have to spend as much money on contraception. Having a good personality but they only see ugly. Having to spend a long time getting dressed before you leave the house to try and minimize your ugliness for the public. It's just a weird mind f because being attractive is a sum of so many intangible things. You know when you are unattractive, but you see people who are more ugly or seem to have worse personalities than you reeling them in. Because of this, you don't really know what to fix or how to fix it. People who have made themselves more attractive have usually tried dozens of things before they figure out what works. When there is an attractive person in the room and they get complimented on beauty while you get complimented for virtue. Being invisible and never having anyone remotely interested in you mainly romantically, but even for friendship is kind of hard. Of course if you're also introverted the effects are way higher. Life is on hard mode. Everything is more difficult. Just ask me. You can feel attractive and get a look from someone that lets you know you're not and it crushes you. Having to work harder to get my ideas heard, going unnoticed when I want to be or should be. That said, there's something to be said for being able to disappear into the background from time to time. Difficult to find companionship. People are shallow. Everyone is to an extent. 
I have a lazy eye and am a bit overweight so people assume that I'm disabled and by extension think I'm stupid I even had the chaperone of the special ed class approach my table and ask my classmates if this gentleman goes with the other kids special ed kids leave class early I'm constantly treated like I'm retarded by everyone I meet and have become cold because of this I don't show a lot of emotion and my family thinks I'm a psychopath. So main hard shit of being unattractive life sucks. Good photos are a rarity. Low self-esteem. Wearing even the most beautiful and most expensive clothes doesn't really do much. 1. Already been said. But if anyone expresses any kind of interest in you, you instantly think you're being set up for something. 2. The amount of work you have to put in to get people to see your value, skill set. I'm very very good at what I do, but it takes so much effort to convince people to listen to me. I'm not able to bring as much value as I could otherwise. 3. The way people lie to you to try to protect your feelings but it comes out so condescending. I'm well aware of what I look like. You saying, oh stop it. Don't say that, doesn't help. I once got asked to participate in a photo-based marketing campaign for our company. I looked at everyone in the room like they were crazy and politely reminded them that you shouldn't put people that look like me on public-facing marketing materials. The look on their faces that I would even say something like that. And then all of the fake compliments started to flow. Mirrors. Bullying. Notice someone cute. Smile. Go back to what you were doing because you don't want to bother anyone. Manager. Sir I am going to have to ask you to leave. You are creating an uncomfortable environment for our customers. Leave quietly because this happens. Feel like crap for bothering anyone. Commit to not smiling or looking at anyone again. When someone way more attractive complains about not being pretty enough. Like. What do you want from me? Sympathy because I'm also not. Or are you seriously trying to make me feel worse to pump up your ego? Feeling really cute and put together from hair to nails to outfit. You think wow, I look pretty good. Then someone takes a picture and you realize that no matter what, you're the most unattractive person in the group. People recognize that you are not attractive so they classify you. Lack of physical and emotional contact. I was overweight and ugly all through middle and high school. I'm still overweight, but between dressing well, a couple facial scars, a skincare routine, and a fashionable haircut, I can pass for rugged. Being ugly means people don't want to be around you, either consciously or subconsciously, let alone touch you. There was a period where I did not physically get touched by another person for close to three months. I'd gone longer without a positive comment being thrown in my direction. That hurts. It weighs you down. You slog through life and each day without contact adds another rock to your ruck. It can break you, both mentally and physically. I devolved to self-destructive and nihilistic behavior before getting help. Being convinced it's just a cruel joke or a dare when someone expresses interest in you. The most discouraging thing is perpetually wishing for something you don't have instead of being at peace and thankful for what you do have. The way I can tell people think it when they meet my partner, his family, friends, etc. were probably really disappointed. His sisters are all beautiful in different ways. His exes were all in the awkward teenage phase when he dated them in high school but have since grown into beautiful women. All his female friends are at least attractive in their own way. Then there's me. Sometimes when we're out with a group I wonder if he thinks about how he's in a relationship with the ugliest girl in the room. Our wedding is coming up and all my bridesmaids are stunningly beautiful. I'm going to be the ugly one in all our wedding photos and it kinda sucks. Otherwise I think I've made peace with being ugly. Hey, don't be so harsh on yourself. He decided to marry you, so there's no way he thinks you're ugly. Not everyone has to have a perfect body or a beautiful face. Hell, some people even specifically dislike those kinds of people. Your partner chose you for a reason. True beauty for me personally is how you feel when you're with someone. Everything that's based purely on looks won't last anyway. Don't forget that. I hope you have a wonderful wedding being treated differently and also having my ideas brushed over. I feel like I can't get away with half the stuff attractive people can. It's hard because it makes me feel like an outcast. I remember in high school someone told me I look like a murderer or scary.
but I've seen that trend in college too. People avoid me or think I'm intimidating because of the way I look and some went out of their way in college to bully me for it which is stupid because it's college focus on your own shit versus mine. For me, it was how different the world treats you. After my divorce, I went and got my shit together, got in shape, bought smart clothes, got a proper haircut and took care of my beard. The difference how you're treated is just so ridiculous. Life is just so vastly different between an attractive and an unattractive person. It's depressing. Sadly, being so unused to the attention and annoyed by the hypocrisy, I just found the ordeal depressing and anxiety invoking. So I fell off the wagon and got a bit overweight again. I see all my attractive friends having relationships and being happy and I'm just there, knowing that I won't ever have something like that. You'll never know when you stop being unattractive, because in your eye you could always look better, and you're already used to not being seen by others. Life. Getting stuck in the thought process that no one in the world at all will love you because of your looks. Taking pictures with friends. They are all so cute but I cringe when I see myself. When I ask to retake it they say no you look cute and that almost hurts worse than if they would just admit I look bad, because I know they're just trying to be nice.